All right, we're back this week playing another round of HGTV's House Hunters. Celebrity Edition, this week featuring another global social media personality, Aiden Ross, HGTV star Christine Hall and showbiz couple Joshua Leonard, and Allison Pill. We've got over $20 million worth of real estate we're about to review. And then I'm going to decide whose house I'll be buying, as is, where is. No changes, you know the drill. Let's play House Hunter Sub Edition. Here we go. First up, we have HGTV royalty with several different shows. On the network over the years, Christina Hall's five-bedroom, six-bathroom, 7,000-square-foot modern glass sanctuary in Newport Beach, California. This 2021 bill that was purchased for $12 million by Christina and her new husband, making this the most expensive non-view property to ever sell in Orange County. I don't love the sound of that. In fact, Christina was so desperate to buy this home that she made an offer within 60 seconds of it hitting the market. Wow, would have loved to have been the seller on this transaction. The design pays homage to the mid-century modern aesthetic with terrazzo stone, floor-to-ceiling windows, and clean lines. High-tech features abound, including an interstellar home theater system, smart home automation system, and the ultimate man cave. In the middle of the nearly half-acre lot is a lap pool, an expansive lawn for the preeminent outdoor living experience. You know, we'll need a lot of Windex for all these windows. I love Newport, but I'm not crazy about a $12 million price tag without a view. That is, that is steep. I don't know. We got two more to go. Let's see who's up next. Next up, we have a couple best known from the Blair Witch Project in the newsroom, Joshua Leonard and Allison Pill's six-bedroom, six-bathroom, 5,000-square-foot revamped New York home, known as the Compound at Breezy Hill, this $4.3 million Hudson Valley property has been completely renovated and reimagined. From the 18th century stone house to the Civil War era barn, plus two bespoke guest houses, Breezy Hill has a craftsmanship and a style to accommodate everyone's dream experience. Perhaps the most spectacular part of the property are the secluded and picturesque grounds, which are laced with rolling hills, a spring-fed pond, and streams with waterfalls. Then there's the beautiful restored barn, which flaunts stained glass windows along with hand-chiseled chestnut stairs and a massive wrought iron chandelier salvaged from the 1860s hotel in Manhattan. This looks like a Disney fairy tale cottage has come to life, but my concern with this is I know very little about the Hudson Valley and what's surrounding that here. Would that prevent me from buying it? I don't know. We got one more to go. Let's see who's up next. Last up, we have one of the most successful streamers of all time, Mr. Aiden Ross's 10-bedroom, 13-bathroom, 12,000-square-foot modern LA home. This $5 million home was previously owned by NBA star Kelly Oubre Jr. and also the D'Amelio family. There are so many exquisite features, including a large open floor plan with walls that open to the outside entertaining spaces. Inside, there's a game room, full gym, home theater, several fireplaces, a modern glass staircase. Furthermore, the outside is impressive with an outdoor kitchen, an amazing pool, this home is located in the Hollywood Hills. It has a short drive to the best of LA. Of, of course it is. Every single new home in the Hollywood Hills looks exactly like this here. It's it's funny how every single young athlete, YouTuber, streamer, influencer, they all have the same exact house, basically. They all claim to be such individuals, yet same thing every time. That's monoculture for you. Oh well, who am I going with? We'll find out next. So to recap, we have Christina Hall's $12 million Newport Paradise, Allison and Joshua Hill's $4.3 million Hudson Valley Escape, and Aiden Ross's $5 million Hollywood Hideout. And right off the bat, Aiden Ross has got to go. Christina has the better of the two modern homes. So Aiden, sorry, your stream is getting pulled. And we have Newport versus New York. And I'm going to go with the secluded cabin. I like the land. I like the renovation. I get an entire lake to myself. Now I just need directions. Who are you guys going to go with? Let me know. Hit the like, subscribe. You guys on the next venture bike. 